Hey fellow Backyard Boyers, Nick here. Uh, today I wanted to show this new crossbow to you guys. I've been getting a lot of questions about crossbows, and I've also been getting a lot of requests to do another crossbow video. So I figured I'd show this to you guys. This is one of my favorite styles of crossbow, and I've made several of this style. I'm not a huge fan of moving parts, like I've mentioned before, and so I really like simple trigger mechanisms. Now this mechanism is good for lower poundage bows like this one. This is only a 100 pound prod. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about this today. So first thing is the, the trigger mechanism or the lock. This is really simple. Some people call it a push pin lock or a skein lock. All it really is is a pin inside of here. When the string comes back it engages the lock by pushing the pin down. If I move this, you can see when the string comes back, it pushes the pin down. And then when you're ready to shoot the crossbow, you push up on the handle and it pushes the pin and it pushes the string. This is really good for lower poundage bows. As you get higher up past about 150 pounds, it can get really tricky to get this system working really well. This is really nice. Not a lot of wear on the parts even without you know heavy rounding or anything and some of the things I've done with this bow is I have a PVC bolt retainer this is just a little clip that holds the bolt in place and also you see here there's a little stop that keeps the bolt from going back over the string and helps prevent misfires and if you don't like this here you want to shoot without it or you want to use some kind of a spanning aid you can just move this around out of the way or take it off Now this, the main trigger is basically this bar, it's made out of PVC pipe. And this acts as both a spring and a lever. It holds itself up, but it's also light enough where the string can actually push it down. Now this is a really, I want to say, a very light trigger because it's also trying to pull itself up. So dropping this will accidentally let the bolt go and that's never a good thing so I've also put a safety on here it's just a really simple little bar this is also made out of PVC it slides up and goes right underneath the trigger that way when the string is in here and it pushes the pin down the pin makes contact here but no matter what you do you can't actually get the crossbow to shoot even if you were to drop this the, the bolt will have a hard time going. Now it could always happen, but this is just an extra layer of safety. Up here I have the prod. This is a 100 pound, one inch PVC pipe prod. Now you guys remember I did a video on how to make a 100 pound crossbow, and that thing was fairly large. This is much more compact, a lot smaller. And to get this bow to draw this far and this heavy, it's got a lot of deflex in it. So the performance, even though it's a smaller bow and it's a more efficient bow, the performance is about the same as the other bow. It shoots its bolts at about 150 feet per second. Now, one thing I just wanted to mention is that when we're talking about crossbows, 100 pounds is a fairly lightweight, especially with a short power stroke here. The shorter the power stroke, the heavier your bow needs to be to propel the arrow. And generally for bows like this, I, I like to say that a crossbow like this at 100 pounds is about comparable to a longbow or recurve bow of about 30 to 40 pounds. So 100 pounds may seem like a lot, but this is actually a fairly lightweight bow. But it's fun to shoot. It's easy to pull for most people with two hands and a stirrup. And it's a lot of fun for backyard shooting and just having a blast. It's a really cool little crossbow. Up here I have my stirrup made out of PVC pipe. Makes stringing the bow, unstringing the bow, and shooting a lot more fun. And then I've got the bow wrapped on here, or the prod wrapped on with paracord. So now I'm going to show you guys how to span this bow. It's really simple. All you do is you place the, uh, the stirrup on the ground, put your foot in the stirrup, 
grab the string, pull it back, and there it is. It's a good idea to always put the safety on first, because sometimes as you're bringing it up, you might bump this against your leg and set it off. Now it's ready to go. You just take your bolt, put it under the clip here, and it stops it right before you get to the string. And this clip holds it in pretty well. Now you can't swing it around and you know bounce around upside down like the other crossbow. It's just not going to hold it in that well. But it's enough to you know forward, up, side to side a little bit. And when you're ready to shoot, you just move the safety out of the way, take aim. There we go. Here we are at 10 yards. And here we are at 20 yards. Alright, my target is right down here, so I'm going to be shooting in your direction, first at 10 and then 20 yards. Here we go. So here it is. This is one of my favorite styles of crossbow. And I think, personally, I like this a lot better than that other crossbow I built with you guys. That whole design was just me trying to think of ways to make a more user-friendly crossbow that's easier to build. This requires a little bit of, a little more woodworking to it. But it's pretty simple. I just wanted to ask you guys if you're interested, I'd love to show you guys how to build a crossbow like this one. 100 pounds, but a lot more compact and something in a more uh, medieval style. But here it is. If you guys want to see a build along of a bow like this one, just let me know in the comments below. I just wanted to thank you guys for watching and for supporting me. And so, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Alright, so I wanted to try something just for fun. I don't know if you can see the target. It's kind of that whitish speck off in the distance. We're back about 35 yards from the target and I'm crouched behind this, this stump. So I'm going to be shooting at the target 
and then I'm gonna put you guys over there so you can see what it looks like when I'm shooting from here. We'll see if I can make this shot from behind the stump and with some brush. So here we go. Nailed it. <laughs>